Before engaging in a sexual activity, it is important uh, to take steps uh, to ensure that you and your partner are comfortable and safe. So I'm going to state some of the steps which you ensure that your partner and yourself are comfortable and safe before engaging in sexual activity. Number one is communicate with your partner. Discuss uh, with your partner about your boundaries, preferences and the concerns with your partner before engaging in any sexual activity. This can help ensure that both of you are on the same page and can enjoy uh, the experience. So communication works in a way that uh, it will make you people enjoy your uh, sexual activity. Another very important aspect is about uh, getting tested. If you and uh, your partner have not been tested for sexually transmitted diseases, that is the STIs, consider getting tested before having a sexual uh, experience or an encounter so that uh, you, this can help with, uh, you or your partner from contracting or getting infected with the sexually transmitted diseases like HIV, like the gonorrhea, like the syphilis, like the chlamydia and the many other sexual uh, diseases or tra transmitted uh, infections which are available. And uh, very important, you should uh, 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 use protection. Uh, you should agree with your partner if you are, uh, you are not in an, a monogamous kind of uh, relationship. So you, are not, uh, you, are so you, you will agree with your partner on the use of protection and by this I mean about condom. Uh, about the use of birth control because you don't want to get an expected pregnancy. Also consider using uh, uh, these the condoms and also the condoms works as a, a way of family planning and also as a way of preventing the STIs. So it's very important to agree on the use of uh, uh, protection from the STIs and also from the pregnancy especially if you are, not, you are not in a, a monogamous kind of a sexual relationship. Very important also, uh, number, number four is about uh, practice good hygiene. Uh, it should be that uh, you should shower or bath before having sex to prevent the spread of bacteria and they reduce the, uh, re the risk of uh, infection. And also uh, by practicing good hygiene, one is uh, presents presentable one is presentable and you make the other partner comfortable and also yourself so it is good to have that shower and also bath that you smell uh, good before engaging in that uh, sexual activity uh, number five is about take your time about engage uh, by, by engaging in foreplay to help both partners become aroused and ready for sex so foreplay plays a very important role in partners so it's very, it's important to prepare each other and foreplay like especially ladies they need a lot of preparation for it so foreplay comes in where you with your communication with your partner uh, uh, foreplay you can know how to do that foreplay within that time to prepare one for the readiness for for that so number six is about use of replication Consider you are using a replication to make sexual more comfortable and enjoyable for both partners. We have special replications like uh, here in Africa we have what you call KY jelly. But it, they, it should be water based, uh, they, they say water based uh, replicants because we don't, we, we don't want you to get uh, to use uh, things like oil which are oily. So uh, it's very important that you get to use uh, water based uh, replicants so that to avoid vaginal irritation and also to avoid developing other infections. So replication is also ad advocated for, especially if your partner or you yourself, you find that it's, uh, you are dry. So replication, artificial uh, replication is very important because due to some circumstances, one may not be replicated well at that particular point. Uh, and very important, uh, number seven is about choose a comfortable setting. Make sure you are in a comfortable and private setting where you and your partner can relax and focus on each other. 
so we don't expect you to be in a public place or where you get a lot of disturbance you need to find a, a good setting which can be comfortable for both of you and make you enjoy your time uh, together uh, and also number eight is a boy uh, is about avoiding alcohol and drugs by avoiding drugs or alcohol before having sex uh, it can uh, because uh, you, we want you to enjoy your sex uh, when your mind is clear and also your consent is very clear I'm told like in USA if you engage with someone who is uh, who is involved in a, a who makes a decision after taking the alcohol uh, a lady may sue you and you may get yourself into problems as a man so it is always good to ensure that you are sober when or your partner is sober when you are consenting for that uh, sexual encounter because uh, we don't we want you to make rational decisions because alcohol imp and drugs can impair your way of making decisions and they can lead to a unwanted sexual encounter we don't want you that, that we want you to get into proper judgment and also avoid the risk of uh, uh, unwanted sexual encounters also very important practice consent always always obtain clear and enthusiastic uh, consent from your partner before engaging in sexual activity that's a very important part don't involve with someone in sexual activity without the con their consent and also make the, the consent very clear and very convincing i'm sorry for the uh, crowing of the of the chicken but uh, that's our setting here in africa so consent is very important so always get the proper consent uh, from your partner on on involving in the sexual activity also number 10 is about taking care of birth control if you are using birth control make sure that you have taken it as prescribed and uh, are prepared for any potential uh, kind of uh, side effects this is especially for the ladies because of most of these uh, family planning methods or uh, part control methods are with the ladies so be, be ready with your, your birth control method to avoid unwanted pregnancy at the same time also uh, keep emergency contra con contraception on hand in case of an emergency make sure you have access to emergency contraception such a uh, uh, here in africa we have what we call e pills emergency pills uh, there are special ones, there are those who call them as plan B also, uh, they are there. So it's very important if uh, yeah, anything happens, like uh, breaking of that condom, there is also, in case of unprotected and unanticipated kind of uh, where you don't anticipate to get pregnant, EPL should be, in, uh, should be implemented or plan B should be involved so that we avoid uh, unwanted uh, pregnancy or regrets in future. Uh, on the emergency contraception, we also, if there is a case where you are not very sure of the status of your of your partner, it's good to go for uh, here in Africa. We have what you call PrEP, where one gets some medications which can prevent one from developing into HIV status. So that's very important. Where you also get uh, as an emergency uh, to not to get into uh, problems uh, with. Uh, in future of developing the HIV also very important is about follow-up after having sex check in your part uh, in with your partner to ensure that they are comfortable and uh, not experiencing uh, unwanted effects this is very rare uh, especially with men you check on your partner on what uh, on, on what has happened especially these are the kind of encounters where one especially in, in affairs which are not monogamous so uh, I, I inquire from your partner if they are having any complaint post uh, uh, sexual encounter and also uh, encourage them to go for checkup in the hospital setting so that they seek medical attention as appropriate so follow up after having sex check in with your partner to ensure that they are comfortable and have not experienced any unwanted effects so if you are experiencing any discomfort or symptoms it's good to seek uh, medical attention so guys welcome to our channel the channel is future talks 
My name is Vincent. This is where we get to talk matters uh, complicated, complex, but in the simple words which you can always understand. Guys, welcome, and also I want to welcome you to our next video. Thank you very much. Semi meditation refers to the practice of abstaining from ejaculation, either through sexual activity or uh, through uh, masturbation for a certain period of time. This practice is often associated with various spiritual or health benefits, although it is a limited scientific uh, evidence to support these claims. I've been asked a very critical question and uh, today I want to respond to it. Guys, I don't know if you have ever heard of uh, semen education and what it means. Uh, we are going to discuss about it shortly. Kindly, the channel is Future Talks, and my name is Vincent. And if you have not subscribed to our channel, guys, kindly, I want to encourage you to subscribe. Uh, my name is Vincent. Semen meditation refers to the practice of abstaining from ejaculation, either through sexual activity or masturbation, for a certain period of time. This practice is often associated with various spiritual or health uh, benefits, although there is a uh, limited scientific evidence to support these uh, claims. Some proponents of the semen meditation claim that it can lead to increased energy, focus and confidence, as well as improve the physical and mental health. Others suggest that it can enhance sexual pleasure and performance by building uh, the sexual energy over time. So, but uh, however, it is important to note that uh, there is limited scientific research which has been done on this uh, semen meditation uh, aspect. Some potential risk of long-term semen meditation can include prostate problems, sexual dysfunction, and also psychological issues such as uh, anxiety and uh, depression. So, if you are considering the semen meditation, it is important to speak to a healthcare professional to understand the potential risks and benefits and to ensure that it is safe for you to engage in this uh, practice. So, what are the benefits of semen uh, retention? Number one is increased uh, uh, energy and focus has been considered as one of the benefits of semen retention. Increased energy and focus. Because semen contains various nutrients, including proteins and minerals, and some people believe uh, that retaining semen can increase the energy levels, and mental focus. Number two is about enhanced sexual pleasure and performance. Some people suggest that semen meditation can lead to stronger and longer lasting erections as well as more intense orgasms. So number three also benefits is improved physical and mental uh, uh, health. Uh, so uh, some proponents of the semen meditation suggest that it can lead to improvement in physical health including reduced anxiety and uh, depression. Also, in uh, uh, number four is about increased uh, motivation and confidence. So some people suggest that retaining semen can lead to increased motivation and confidence as well as improved self-esteem. So the benefits of uh, uh, semen retention, number one is increased energy and focus. Number two is enhanced sexual pleasure and performance. Number, uh, number number three is about improvement physical health and uh, mental health and also some proponents of semen retention such that it can lead to improvement in the physical health including better immune function and also mental health including reduced anxiety and also depression number four is about increased motivation and confidence because some people who so proponents of this semen retention uh, they say that the it can increase, it can lead to increased motivation and also confidence as well as improved uh, self-esteem. So it is important to note that there is limited scientific evidence uh, to such to support the evidence of uh, semen retention uh, and also support the claims, and that semen retention may have potential risks and uh, negative consequences. So it is important to speak with your healthcare provider, especially about your about the consequences involved and the potential risks and also benefits of semen meditation to ensure that you are safe 
and also to engage in uh, safe uh, practice. So is uh, semi meditation advisable? There's no clear consensus on whether semi meditation is uh, advisable or not, as there is limited, like I've mentioned, there's limited evidence of uh, uh, semi meditation uh, from the scientific uh, point of view on its benefits and also the risks. So, but some proponents suggest that semi meditation can have potential benefits such as increased energy, uh, focus, and also sexual pleasure. While others suggest that it can have potential risks such as prostate problems and uh, sexual uh, dysfunction. So we don't have a clear scientific uh, study which has been carried out on semen irritation. So it is important to note that semen irritation is a personal choice, uh, especially when it is now not scientifically supported conclusively on uh, what is happening. So it is important to speak with the healthcare professional to understand the potential risks and also benefits of, uh, of the same meditation and to ensure that it is safe for you to engage in this uh, kind of uh, practice. Additionally, it is important to practice safe and consensual sexual behavior and to obtain clear and enthusiastic uh, consent from all participants before engaging in any uh, sexual activity. Uh, from even our previous kind of from our even our previous video, guys, uh, that is about uh, semen irritation, and uh, I want to get your opinion on your understanding of the uh, semen irritation. You can also give your nice comment down there and also share your few, your views about uh, this uh, semen irritation uh, issue. So guys, welcome to our channel. The channel is Future Talks. My name is Vincent. This is where we get to share matters our concerning our health, but also lifestyle, and also entertain ourselves. We discuss matters complex, but uh, in a very simple language, which each one of us can easily understand and also take home something from there. Guys, uh, welcome to our channel, and also I want to welcome you to our next video guys welcome and also subscribe kindly if you have not subscribed i want to encourage you to subscribe kindly like the, the video and also share widely uh, uh, so that that's the best way you can always support us guys welcome to our next video and also thank you for always supporting the channel guys welcome